Prez Games. Prez Games TV. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Prez and welcome to another episode of NHL Be a Pro, episode 86. Today, uh, we're going to finish off the playoffs. Hopefully we don't lose at home. Uh, this will be our third game. So if we lose our third game, then we move and then we lose our fourth game. We're out of the playoffs and then um, we'll see what happens from there if we actually lose. But I'll see you guys when we actually get on the ice. Ray Ferraro coming up by Mike Emmerich. It's as simple as the math. Two games to nothing. And you're coming into this arena and you're ahead to nothing. Is there pressure? Well, there's pressure because you don't want to give the home team any life. You don't want to give them any belief that they can get back in this series. And I'm a believer. If I'm the road team and I'm up to nothing, is that I can win this series here is if I can find a way to win game three. New York's in the driver's seat, but they know it's going to be a hostile environment here in Game 3. They know the home crowd is going to be into it. One way to take them out of it, slow the game down. Don't allow the fans or the home team to be energized early in this game. Let's look at the starting netminders. Marc-Andre Fleury is the goalie of choice tonight and had a Stanley Cup championship in Pittsburgh before his 25th birthday. In back-to-back -back Stanley Cup Finals, he won 30 of 44. Outstanding under pressure. Henrik Lundqvist, what credentials? All-rookie, first All-Star, Vezina Trophy winner, and for his native Sweden, Olympic gold and Olympic silver. Averages about 35 wins a season. Impressive. All right, guys, so let's get it started. We are finally playing at home. So hopefully we can pull out a win here at home and um, get back into this series. Because I really want to stay into the playoffs and actually win. Oh, I get a nice shot by Lumquist. Oh, he gets the pass out. Let's see if we can get the pa oh, pass up to the point. Oh, what a nice shot. Oh, there we go. There is our very first goal. We actually scored, guys. We haven't scored in quite a while in the first period. So there we go. There's our first goal. I can't believe we actually scored there. Did I get the assist for it too? I wonder if I got the assist for it because that would have been sweet. I believe that would have been our very first point in the playoffs, actually. We had our very first point in the playoffs. All right. So, no, we didn't. We did not get we did not get it but that's okay but we're up by one nothing in the first which is really good for me and really good for the team so we can keep it going here we got Kunitz Bergenheim with the goal I couldn't remember his name until the commentary actually said it now I know it's actually his name all right I got a hair in my eye I got a dog hair in my eye oh what did I save by flurry flurry get back in your net buddy Oh, what a nice save. Okay, let's get it out. Let's get it out. Let's get it out. Alright. Alright. Alright, let's get back to the bench. Let's get back to the bench. Let's get some fresh legs out there. Alright, guys, so we're back on the ice. Surprisingly, we're actually back on the ice. That's surprising. Maybe because we got the first goal and just we just got the second goal of the game. We're up 2 nothing. The hype is real. Look at the fans. They're going crazy. The mascot's going crazy. Everybody's going crazy. There we go. I got an assist. Off the faceoff with a wrist shot with the bottom corner and scores. What a nice shot. What a nice shot. What a nice shot. All right. Let's see if we can get another goal. Let's see if we can get another goal. Come on, guys. Let's see if we can get another goal. Come on. Pittsburgh's got it off the draw Oh. Oh, I had to I had to pass it out. I had to pass it out. Miller's got this one between. Let's see if he can stick lift him. Oh, there we go. He dumps it in. There's Mata. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. Can we get on a breakaway? No, we can't. Oh, we kind of can. Oh, it hit the post. Oh, I hit the crossbar, guys. Oh, I almost scored there. Almost scored, but I hit the goddamn post. Oh, there we go. Nice steal. Nice steal. Nice steal. Let's get a breakout. Let's get a breakout. Nice breakout pass. Come on. Oh. 
What did he say? Saved by Lumquist. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh my God! There is another one. He has scored again. That is his second goal, and we're just in the third, first period, guys. We're just in the first period, and he's already got two goals. I already got two assists. What a nice, what a nice tic-tac-toe play we got a little going on right there. A really nice little tic-tac-toe we got going on. All right, guys, so we're back on the ice. They have scored, so we're only down by two. Let's get another goal. Let's get it up by three once again. Let's see if we can get a goal. Oh, what a nice shot. Apparently, that was an okay shot. I think that was a really good shot. It was shot on net, and there we go. There's our goal back. We're still up by three. Lundqvist is having a bad night, guys. I don't know what's up, but Lundqvist is having a very bad night. I don't know why. But Chris Kunitz with the goal. I got an assist. That is good for me because that actually can get me back onto the first line. I'm hoping to get back on the first line as soon as possible uh, in the playoffs, probably in the playoffs. I'm hoping, hoping to get back onto the first line because I really miss being on the first forward line. And um, I don't know, I just really miss it. I miss teaming up with Crosby and, uh, and uh, Kessel. That's his name, yes. Keep on forgetting his name. I don't know why I keep on forgetting his name, but I keep on forgetting his name. Oh, it's telling me where to go. Sweet. All right. Oh, yeah. I, I put on something that changes the... Not changes the game, but changes... Like, you know, like, the green box I have right here when I'm in their zone? When I'm in their zone, I have to stay in that green box um, to have good positioning just to, like, try to block a puck or block a pass or something. I put on something else where awareness, um, where I'm actually supposed to be in their zone. And... Uh, I think that's pretty good. It helps me play the game a little bit better. And uh, obviously it creates chances. And we obviously scored. And uh, yeah, so we're going to get in the second round here. Uh, here is the overall or the coach feedback. And um, I want you guys to read this. I really don't show you guys this. But um, I don't know. I decided to share it, share it with you guys and actually uh, show you guys because I don't usually show it. So anyways... We're going to go back into the game on second period. Um, as we left off, we're up by three. And um, we definitely have to keep the win. We're doing we're doing really good in the faceoffs. It's uh, three to seven. Um, I just lost one. So so they have three wins now. We have seven. So we're doing really good in the faceoffs. And we're also doing really good in the offense, um, offense zone. And we're doing really good in defense zone. We only let one goal in, which is pretty, pretty good. Only let one goal in, and Lundqvist let in four. So we're doing we're doing a lot better this game than we pat than we did for the past like couple of games, uh, past two games that we had actually. Oh, I kind of got glitched there. I kind of got glitched to like moved out of the way and stuff there. I don't know what the hell was going on there, but anyways, we're gonna go back into the our zone, try to get some defense, try to cover up some people. There we go. Get that puck. Get the puck. Get the puck. There we go. Oh, pass it! Oh, I could have passed it up. He would have got a breakaway. He would have got a breakaway, guys. There, he. Oh, that would have been awesome. Oh, there we go. Latang with a steal. Kessel. There we go. Kunitz. Kessel shoots. Scores. We're kind of like on the ice, but also on the bench for that too. It was kind of weird. We saw some tic tac toe there, back and forth between Kessel and Kunitz, and Kessel scores. There we go. There's Phil Kessel. I guarantee you ate a hot dog before this. Before this game, I guarantee they ate a hot dog. But anyways, I'll see you guys when I get back on the ice. All right, guys, so we're back on the ice. We still got the lead. We don't have to worry about that. We just have to worry about protecting this puck, keep it out of our zone, and keep it out of our net. That's all we have to do. That's literally that's all we have to do. That's all the coach feedback he gave me is protect the puck, get it out of our zone, keep it out of our net, all that stuff. So, it's not very good. Still in our zone. Let's get it out. Come on. There we go. Oh, come on. I poked that. Oh, you got to be kidding me. They caught me for that? That is bull crap. That is bull crap. He fucking... He dove, dude. He... What a little bitch. What a little bitch. Alright guys, so we're back on the ice. 
So we're back at full strength here. We got, oh, there we go. There's a nice push. There's a nice push. Let's stop. Let's wait. Let's get open a little bit here. Let's pass it to our open guy. I wasn't going to pass in front of that. I wasn't going to pass it to that guy. I don't know what's going on lately with uh, with NHL, but uh, lately in NHL, EASHL, um, being called for being called for like stupid penalties and just all that stuff because they updated the game. They made the game a little bit more NHL-like, like more NHL rules and more like actually like a real NHL game because this is like the top and it, like if you really want to play like a really good simulator of a hockey game you really play AH, uh, EA Sports NHL like you don't really play anything else if you want a really good simulator to play video games to play hockey on your console and this is this is the best simulator you could possibly play for NHL and I know I released a video a couple months ago about NHL 17 features and what they should add to the game, like a wish list type of deal. And I got a comment the other day. I got a comment yesterday, to, like in my time. I got a comment, like, actually not today. I actually got a comment today um, saying, I don't know, guys, I can, show, I can actually read you guys the comment. Hopefully I'm not on the ice. I'm on the ice. So I'll read it to you guys after um, I'm back on the bench. So. So you guys can actually get. Uh, if you actually go on to the video NHL 17 wish list, uh, you can definitely see the comment. It's by Mr. Epic Dude 16. If you guys want to read his comment, and uh, you guys might agree, you might get, you might disagree. I kind of disagree with this comment. Um, I never really played. Um, he was talking about, LOL, EA can't do any of these. Any of they, they're idiots. Uh, 2K needs to get licensed back for. Uh, NA, uh, NHL, NFL, NA, NFL, and um, hold on, he continue, his comment continues. I can't see it because I'm trying to focus on the game in here and try to read it. I'm trying to look at a different screen, but anyways. Uh, you need to get NHL and NFL back. You need to get the license back for the NHL and NFL. I never really played uh, 2K games. I hate um, the developer 2K. I don't know why. I just hate that. I don't know. I don't like the I don't like the way they actually make sports games. I never really liked the the NHL games they made, 2K NHL. I never I never played them in my life. I never played them. I always played EA Sports. I always played EA Sports NHL every single year. I got it. I got the game every single year. From I believe my very first NHL game was 1999. Then I got the 2000, 2001, 2002, 2004. I got every single year. I got every single year of NHL known to man uh except for like the very first ones they ever made but but do you guys agree do you guys agree that 2k should get the license back to actually make uh nhl games i know they made an nhl 2k i believe 07 or 08 or something and they actually you can actually drive a zamboni you can actually drive the zamboni between the periods um that's really cool uh, i wish ea added that that would have been the game a lot more i don't know a lot more interactive I guess, um, but I, then I guess they'll call it like um, I like Zamboni, uh, Zamboni Simulator. I guess um, somebody should actually make a actually should make a, a Zamboni Simulator. Actually, a game. I actually that would be actually pretty cool if somebody actually made a game like that. I know I know they have like um, American Truck Simulator and like Euro and European Truck Simulator and like. All those games, like Fishing Simulator and like all those. I played all of them. I actually played all those simulators. I, I said she play uh, Fishing Planet. Fishing Planet has got to be like the best fishing game out there. If you guys haven't tried it or haven't seen it, make sure you guys download like Steam. If you guys probably have Steam already or anything like that. And just, just search the game called Fishing Planet. Just search for it and download it and play it. It's actually a really, really good simulator. It actually is like a really good simulator. It's not like, it's not like some finished, like... Uh, fishing simulators where you actually throw out the line and five seconds later you catch a fish it's actually real you actually sometimes have to sit there for 10 to 15 to 20 minutes try to catch one fish and it's actually really really good you actually get to buy license you have to buy licenses to actually catch different types of fish and like it's actually really really good and this summer i actually plan on fishing quite a lot this summer so maybe i can actually make like a vlog type of thing or like take pictures of the the fish i catch and actually show you guys and all that stuff. So I plan on I plan on going fishing quite a lot this summer. 
I'm probably going to take you guys along with me. If you guys like that idea, make sure you guys smash the like button. Make sure you guys tell me in the comments if you guys really like that idea. But anyways, we're going to jump into the third period. I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, guys. Back. All right, guys. We are back. I kind of messed up there. I don't know why. I kind of voice crack right there. But anyways, we are back into NHL. We are back into the third period. I fucking messed up that intro really badly. It's not really an intro. But anyways, we're back on the ice. I really messed that up. I really, really did. But anyways, I'm going to leave it in. I always leave in my mistakes. Like, if I mess up on something, or I can't say a word, or I can't pronounce a word properly, or anything like that, I think it's I think it's best to leave it in, because that adds more personality to your videos, and that adds a little bit more, like, saying, this is, this is not scripted, basically. Oh, I'm saying that's not, like, this is scripted, and, like, I have stuff to say, and I really want to say it. Obviously, I do have some stuff to say, um, some stuff, and I talk about that subject, and a lot of people love that. A lot of people actually like me talking about something different than other than the game because it makes the game a little bit more entertaining and a little bit more fun to watch instead of me acting like a commentator like you watch either an NHL game on live tv or you actually play this game you listen to Eddie Olchek and Mike Emery and just talk I don't like that I don't like that at all I wish I actually took away the the actual commentary in this game but I can't because I like to leave it in the videos because if I stop talking, that kind of fills into the, the audio, into the game and stuff and all that stuff. So it just adds more personality. When I talk about different subjects in the game, it adds way more personality. I watch other YouTubers that do NHL videos, and um, to me, they're quite boring because they don't just they just talk about the game. They just talk about the game. Sometimes I talk about the game. Sometimes I don't. But I like to talk about something different, a little bit more personality I add to my videos, and I like to talk about some different subjects. And a lot of people like that. A lot of people like me talking about different stuff and uh, talking about stuff that's happening in my life or anything like that. I think it just it adds a little bit more personality to the videos. That's all I'm saying. And I don't hate all other YouTubers that do YouTube, like do NHL. It's just like I don't like some NHL YouTubers. So I'm not going to name any names at all. All right, guys, so we're back in the ice. Uh, there's about, like, 12 minutes left. Uh, like I said in, I believe, a couple other videos, I said I added, five, like, another minute to the period. So it's instead of four minutes per period, it's five minutes per period. So just make the videos a little bit longer. And um, I don't know. Some of you guys like longer videos. Some guys, you, some guys don't. It really depends. I try to mix it up, uh, really. So hopefully this video is long enough for you guys and you guys actually enjoy it. Uh, every time, every time I upload one of these videos, I have, I have doubts that, uh, you guys are not going to like it, and that, um, I don't know, I have, I have doubts that you guys are not going to like it and stuff and all that, but anyways, there's my goal, there's my very first goal of the playoffs, my very first goal of the playoffs, my very first one, I can't believe it, I actually finally scored. All right, guys, so we're back in the ice. We are on the power play for two minutes. We're on, actually on a power play squad line. That's it. That was what I was looking for. Line, not squad. All right, he's going to cover it up. Yeah, he's going to cover it up. All right, we're going to take the face off in their zone. Let's see if we can win it and actually have Mata score. Nope, I'm getting tied up. Ah, oh, damn it. I got tied up. I hate that. I hate that so much. Come on, Kessel. Skate faster, buddy. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Mata with the pat, with the steal. Good move. Continue the march on. Malkin's lost that puck in the offensive zone. He stick handled himself in the submission. The oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Box is empty for them. Oh, there we go. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Come on. He can start some danger here. No room for a pass. Cruises in. Drives in. Moves in front. Really. Oh, come on. What? I shot it. Sorry, guys. I didn't talk there. I was kind of like going through and trying to deke through and all that stuff. So. Sorry. 
right, guys, so we're back in the ice. We got five minutes and 30 seconds left. We're up by six to two. Four, I believe. If not, I'm sorry. Can't really think right now. I'll try to focus on the game. I'll try to focus on the win. Our first win in the playoffs. Hopefully we can actually come back from this and win the next uh, next couple of games and actually um, actually beat the New York Rangers in the first round and actually move on to the second round and hopefully to the finals. I wish, I want to win the Stanley Cup in my rookie year so bad that, um, I don't know, I think it would be like really, really cool for me to win a Stanley Cup on my rookie year, um, in my rookie year, so. Come on. Stick lifted him for a little happiness right there. A little happiness. Oh, what? I stole that. Let's give it out. Let's get it out. Let's get it out. Come on. Okay, let's go back on the bench. Let's go back on the bench. The last minute of the third period. Let's see what my team can do for the last minute. Of the third period. Let's see if we can actually keep the lead. We probably can. Fleury has done really good this game. The past two games that we had. He hasn't done very good at all. At all. So I hope you guys are enjoying. Having the playoffs. Just every single day. Um, even if we're in the playoffs. Like starting. Like the next round. We make it to the next round. Even we're, even if we stay in the playoffs. You guys will see an NHL Be A Pro video every single day, Monday to Friday. And you guys might see some different videos on Saturday and Sunday. You guys might see some some different videos there just to just to mix it up. Um, but for NHL, and we're in the playoffs, I'm going to have it every single day of the week, no matter what. Well, if we don't, if we get out of the playoffs, then... Um, then you guys will, will go back to like a normal schedule. But if we're still in the playoffs, I'll have a video up every single day of the week, Monday to Friday at nine o'clock in the morning. It'll be uploaded. It'll be live. Uh, I do schedule uploads with mine because I record mine like days before. And it's just much easier to do schedule uploads than just to actually upload it on the day because I'm not usually up at nine o'clock in the morning. Or even earlier than that because it takes three hours or two hours to actually upload um, one of my videos but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed that here's the multiplier um, there we go you failed to reach your target team play to get the most experience you need to get on target in all three categories so anyways we gained a lot of XP we have we barely lost any XP oh, we lost 75 XP for something discipline but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you guys smash the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't. And my name is Prez. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.